Well, ever since an American divorcee actress won the heart of Prince Harry, the world has been fascinated by their love story. But far from the fairy tale it promised to be, their relationship has been plagued by controversy, a shock split from the royal family and, of course, that Oprah interview. Now, perhaps most surprisingly, some of the more vocal critics of the Duchess have been within her very own family. Meghan's half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr., was, until last night, appearing on Big Brother VIP here in Australia. And over the past couple of weeks, we've seen him uh, go from taking little digs at the Duchess and Prince Harry to doing a complete 180 and writing an apology letter for his past behaviour. Thomas Markle Jr. joins us live from Mexico this morning. Hi, Tom. Let's start with Big Brother. What a ride. We saw you exit last night. How did you find your time in the house and on the show? Yeah. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, what an incredible experience. Um, Big Brother was amazing. I wouldn't trade that. Uh, world and who I really am. Oh, we're, we're going to plough on because we really want to talk to you, but clearly some technical... Really bad. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, let's go with it. Um, we need to talk about Meghan and Harry. Meghan has sat down with Ellen DeGeneres. That full interview is airing tomorrow. You're in Mexico, just up the road from your dad. Will you and your dad be sitting down to watch this? It'll be hard to ignore. Uh, absolutely. I was informed that she did an interview, so I'm I'm really looking forward to all the wonderful things she's going to say about me being my big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Have you you haven't heard from her at all? No, n nobody has. It's unfortunate, you know. So, you know, I did my job on Big Brother. I planted the seed uh, and, and I poured my heart out. So, she's got, you know, hopefully she does the right thing and, and says the right things on Alan. Because, uh, Thomas, I suppose it would be hard, easier for her to ignore if you're writing these letters and sending them off quietly on your own. But when you're making a whole big splash about it uh, on TV in prime time, do, do you think she's even hearing about it? Is that message that the Reddit letter's been written even getting to her? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I lost you for a minute. Do you think she knows that you're writing these letters when we talk about them on prime time TV? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, and what better way to do it? You know, since we have to live our lives out in the media anyway, you know, it's not like I pick up the phone and call her, so you'll get this for sure. <laughs> but if your letter didn't do it, what do you think it will take now for Megan to maybe reach out to you or, or your dad? Do you think she's more likely to reach out to you or your father? Well, for her to reach out now, I think it was going to take another small act of God. But hopefully she'll reach out to my father. Yeah, OK. Now, lo looking back and with the benefit of hindsight, do you think that you and your family have made the right choices when it comes to Meghan and Harry and, and, and dealing with it and reaching out to them and saying what you've said? Well, there's no instruction book like when you go from a private citizen. Oh, dear. Uh, what? Can you hear me? We've got you back again now. We, we got up to the bit where you said there's no instruction booklet. Then we lost you. Yeah, there's no instruction booklet for the dealing with the media. So we've all made mistakes. But like I said, that's the past. And tomorrow is a new day. And hopefully it works. Thomas, take us through, what, what are you doing in Mexico? We know your dad is there, are you just there for a visit? What does life look like for you now outside the Big Brother VIP house? What do you do? Well, you know, uh, I'm gonna pursue some personal projects that I, that I wanna do and um, like I, I like spending time here with my father um, and making sure he's okay. So I got a place, a couple, few doors down from him and I visit, I'm, a, I'm a grandson uh, I mean I'm not, uh, I'm a grandfather now and then I was informed yesterday that I'm going to be a grandfather again because my other son his wife is pregnant and his girlfriend's pregnant so the family's growing so it, it's just been nice to visit with everybody yeah yeah are you um what does your dad think of everything what, what does your dad think of you being on big brother was he across that 
Yeah, yeah, he really loved that. And uh, that was a really big deal for my father to send that video to the Big Brother Hotel. Uh, as everybody knows, it broke me up and I cried a little bit because that's a big move for my father. And I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm glad at least um, I'm there for him. And I, you know, we have each other's back. So, um, yeah, it's all good. Best when, thing I ever did. Yeah. Mm. When you say you're there for him, he really needs you, Tom? Well, I think everybody's family, you know, is, is super important. And especially these years, um, me getting old, older, me becoming a grandfather, him being a great grandfather, super important to make that your priority, you know, and just and just try to be positive mm. and with everything you do in life with family. All right. Well, we ploughed on through those technical difficulties because we really wanted to hear from you this morning and we thank you for your time over there in Mexico. All right. Yeah. Sorry about the connection, guys. Oh, that, that, that's OK. Uh, Thomas Michael Jr. there. And um, he, yeah, he really enjoyed spending time with Australians, which is, yeah, which is yeah. great. He enjoyed his time. We're, in, we're adorable. In, in the Big Brother house.